Welcome to 언니들 키친. I'm Dal 언니. We are cooking Korean noodle soup called kalguksu today. You've probably seen kalguksu on street food on Netflix or Korean TV shows. Kal means knife and guksu means noodle. So got a hunch? Yes, it needs muscle power to knead, roll, and cut the dough all by hand. To start off, we want our clams to spit out sands at least for one hour. So add two tablespoons of sea salt in your water and dissolve it. Put the clams. Now cover your bowl with aluminum foil cause they do their best in the dark. In a bowl, put two cups of all-purpose flour, half teaspoon of salt, and we are gonna add a half cup of water little by little, getting the flour and water incorporated using spatula or spoon. Here, the most important thing, do not touch it with your hands in the beginning. Then it's gonna stick to your fingers like nobody's business. Once you have almost all the flour incorporated and you're confident that it's all turning into like a much thicker mixture, you can clean up your spatula and start going in with your hands. Now it's time to work out. If your dough is too soft, it will stick to each other when we roll and cut, so knead in a, a little bit more flour. It's better to be rather tough, though it would be harder to knead. Knead it for about 10 minutes. Fold and push your dough using your body weight, not your wrist. Never imagined my voluntary lockdown extra pounds would come in handy. Maybe somebody invented this genius way to work out. But I'm done. I need help. Hey, Oni. Yes, she's coming from behind the camera. Thanks to her, it's done. Put it in a plastic bag and let it rest for 30 minutes in room temperature. Now, let's make the broth. On our recipe, we use dried anchovy and dry shrimp today to make it accessible to everyone. But actually, it would be best if you have dried pollock head. Sounds creepy? I have Ziploc bag full of dried pollock heads in my refrigerator. Sometimes they are creepy when I open my refrigerator at night. But this is the best for deep flavored broth. It's a true game changer. If you don't know about Korean dried anchovies, check out our Melchi Bokkum video. For broth, we are using big one, and big one's innards might be a little bit bitter, so it's better to take it out by splitting it like this, but keep the heads on. Fish head always make good broth. Heat your pot over medium heat and toss in dried anchovy, dried shrimp, and roast for 30 seconds so the fishy moisture evaporates. Pour 2 liters of water into the pot and add leek, pollock head, white radish, spiced chili pepper, and kelp. Bring it to a boil. When it starts boiling, take out your kelp so it doesn't make gooey broth. Boil more for 30 minutes. Now take out all the ingredients and add your clam. But once they open up, take your clams out in a separate bowl. We want our clams to make good broth, but also want to eat plump and juicy meat. Time for cutting. Julienne your zucchini, onion, carrot, and potato. And mix two garlic cloves. Now, my dough is ready. Sprinkle some flour on your chopping board and roll your dough using rolling pin. Uh, looks like my dough is too big for my board. Let's cut it into half. When your noodles boil, the strands will swell a little bit cause it's taking on some water. So roll this out thinner than you think. When you roll it, sprinkle some flour so that it doesn't stick to each other. Now it's rolled well enough, so let's cut it. Here, one important thing. If you cut the noodle and put them aside, chances are they stick to each other, forming massive blob. You don't want that. So make sure to cut your roll right before you put your noodle into the broth. When you cut it, do not press your roll, just gingerly, moving your knife back and forth. As soon as you cut it, fluff out the strands so that they don't stick to each other. Okay, now everything is ready. Let's go back to our broth. When it's ready, add all your vegetables, 
a teaspoon of soy sauce for soup and a teaspoon of salt. And when your vegetables are cooked, which usually takes 3 or 4 minutes, add your noodles, loosening it. From now on, 5 more minutes are left. Now add minced garlic, put your clams back just to heat it up. Turn the heat off. Done! Both workout and cooking.